turn this open. Ah! Ah! What? Today I have a lot of random things to get done, so welcome to a Monday in my life. Mondays is typically laundry day, so I'm gonna start off sorting laundry and getting a load into the washer. Trying to get Lexi to sleep a bit this morning again. She's not settling. I'm trying to switch her to her new crib. And I'm also transitioning, trying to transition her more from not wrapping her. She's almost three months. But she sleeps best when I swaddle her. She has that starey look, so I'm hoping she'll go to sleep. We'll try again. I'm trying to fix something on our camper. And I'm taking the challenge on myself. Nolan's pretty busy and I thought it looked pretty easy. So we went camping the other day and there was this horrid squealing when we tried to turn on the hot water heater. We were thinking of taking it to an RV shop and I'm like, man, I bet we could fix this. So I did some online research and it looked like it was like a little check valve that might need replaced. If I order within two hours, and that was probably an hour ago, on Amazon, I can get the valve by tonight. Maybe we could even fix it tonight yet. Uh, it's kind of funny working on this camper. Just a little bit what I was doing was bringing back all the memories of the Toyota that we renovated. Oh, that was a lot of work. I would not recommend. All right, so here's the hot water heater. If I am correct from my research, this little thing is broken. Let's see, I'll just quick measure this and then we need to get that order in within an hour so that we get it tonight. I tell you, Amazon is crazy. And yes, Nolan could be doing all of this, but if I can do it, and I always kind of enjoy the challenge with campers, then I'll do it and save him time because he is very busy. Are you gonna shoot your bow? Let me see. Doink! It's gonna be another hot day. Yeah. This, I think that is the part that I need. Actually, it says half inch. Hmm. All right, I ran out and got this and I'm pretty sure this is a three quarter inch. I'm pretty sure it's not half. Yes, hello. Um, I'm wondering if you have any check valves. Seven, thanks, bye. All right, I'll wait to see if he has it. Maybe we'll run over today if he does. I really wanna get that fixed. I'm going to sit down and finish recording something for a YouTube video, a scrapbooking tutorial. So if you want to check it out, like my workflow, not really how to scrapbook, but the software I use and that type of thing, check the link out somewhere here. I'm going to be showing you my workflow, but this is going to look a lot different for you depending on your style of filming. So I'm a photographer. I didn't quite get my tutorial finished. Lexi woke up from her nap and my computer's busy transferring some things right now. So. In the meantime, I'm going to clean up my kitchen because I like to have a tidy house. It's when I can work the best. Hello, Janine speaking. Okay, perfect. All right, they have my check valve, so we'll have to try to get over there today. I'm telling you, the handiest thing is a little robot that sweeps for you. Remember, I think like three years ago or so, I did a RoboRock 6 review. I still have it, I love it. it. Does all my sweeping for me a lot of the time. Lexi's fed, I need to finish shooting this scrapbooking thing. To the photo mechanic, which is the first software. If you've been following me, y'all know how much I love my standing desk. And today, Flexi Spot is once again sponsoring this video. And today, I just realized it also doubles up as a little baby ride because she likes to sit on the desk sometimes when I'm editing. So let's give her a ride on the standing desk, see what she does. Let's go up high. Where's Lexi? Oh! <laughs> Hi, Lexi. Now you're as tall as mom. <laughs> If you've never tried a standing desk, you really, really need to. It is so nice to be able to work standing up sometimes that you're not always sitting. And if you want to get a little bit of exercise, you can kind of shuffle around. They say you actually burn a fair amount of calories just by fidgeting. Flexi Spot sent this to me back when we redid our room and I have been loving this corner so much. It's been one of my favorite things about our remodel is my little workstation and I love this desk. This is the Flexi Spot Kamar all-in-one standing desk, EW8. I like the wooden top. I've mentioned this before. We put our own custom wood top on top of this one because they were out of theirs when I 
got mine, but they have the wood version on their website. I really like that it's not just a flat top like many desks have, but it has a very small drawer that can hold pens and papers and just odds and ends of stuff. Just enough of things that you need by your desk. There's four different customizable settings. You can set the desk at different heights if you have different standing heights or if you want to maybe put a treadmill underneath. I do that sometimes and that's a higher height than maybe your standing height and then you have a sitting height. There's a USB charging port. I use it all the time to charge my phone. There's actually two of them. Anyway, I just love the minimalist look of this. I think it just adds to this room so much. You can get up to $200 off on their official website September 7 through 9 and this tech day is also their sixth brand anniversary so this year's discount will be a really good one if you miss out on the September sale you'll have to wait until Black Friday for this big of discounts so if you want to get your own desk head down to the link below and thanks again Flexi Spot for sponsoring this video and for the great product gonna hang out the pants but they are bringing more chicken manure <coughs> that stuff stinks so terribly bad and I'll get in my clothes but it looks like they might be heading out to the whole other end of the field if that's the case I might be able to get by with it. at least hang the pants and the towels well maybe I'll dry the towels because there's nothing quite like washing your face with it <laughs> for those of you that live in the country washing your face with a washcloth that smells like manure is just awful well, we'll risk the pants and hopefully Nolan and Xander don't smell like uh, manure, but yeah. I'm just catching whiffs of it, but I don't think it's going to be strong enough to get into the pants, but it might depending how strong wind blows, so I'm not going to do the towels. Also, if you guys hang out wash, these things are cheap, like from Walmart. Often if a wind blows, it like tears off my laundry. My sister introduced me to these clips. I'm going to have links to them below if you're interested. These guys are that strong. It holds on the wash to stay. Completely embarrassed with my garden. I haven't showed any this year. I just was not inspired. Nolan was in charge of it. Look at her. She fell asleep already. <laughs> um, he did really well and then we just kind of let it go up to weed. So I did get a lot of green beans this year. We got those put away. I should be having more just because of how everything is going with food and the economy and everything. But I did get a lot of green beans, which is usually the most main thing I do, and potatoes. So otherwise though, it's a very weedy garden. Pretty much looks like uh, looks like we're growing grass in there. You'll notice my arbor is missing. I'm pretty sad, it rotted out. I'm hoping we can build another one with a fence. It kind of looks bare. I really liked how it looked before. One thing I love is when I know in the morning what I'm having for dinner in the evening. This morning I'm gonna do a crock pot recipe. Super simple. So it's like a low carb chicken and all you need is butter, cream cheese, and chicken. And you can put the chicken frozen into the crock pot. Um, so it's doing two pounds of chicken. You can do fresh or frozen. I'm gonna do frozen because it's what I have. Four ounces cream cheese, three tablespoons butter. You just cut up the butter and the cream cheese on top and then you need um, one packet of dry ranch dressing mix. So this should be really good and then I'll serve it with rice for my men and I'll probably make myself cauliflower rice since Xander doesn't like cauliflower rice. Some of you have been asking, I'm not sewing for myself anymore. I have a friend that sews for me, which is super handy. Nolan told me that there's some things in my life I just need to out the door. Sewing is one of them where I can do better with my time and other things and it's not worth my time to sew at this point in my life. So I'm gonna just, uh, drop off some dresses and then we're going to the RV store. I'm here to get a part. That is a check valve, correct? That is not a check valve. Backflow preventer. Because the water needs to come out but not flow back in. No, it needs to go in and not flow back out. Thanks so much. Okay, Have a good you. one. You too. <clears throat> so I'm beginning to doubt myself just a little bit. <laughs> I would be so proud of myself if I fix this on my own. So pleased, but I'm not getting my hopes up too high. 25% sure I'm right. <laughs> 
maybe 30. Okay, so this thing's a little bit excessive. It's the only thing I could find that would fit into here. Hey there, Sponge. I think I saw something. Is it a mouse in here? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I saw a mouse. Just quickly tuck away in this compartment. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a mouse. <laughs> this is the hot water heater. So we're gonna try it. It looks pretty self-explanatory, but I'm sure hoping this works. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, this is just awful. That gives me claustrophobia. Are you trying to get out? Oh, yeah. You're stuck. I am kind of. <laughs> Do you see the big wrench behind me, bud? Okay, I need your help. <laughs> I told Xander I need his help. He starts pulling my leg. I am way too large for these little compartments. Ouch, that hurt. This was the wrench I was looking for. <laughs> Are you my little helper? Yeah. You think mom will fix it or you think dad's going to have to figure it all out? I think you're going to be the team. Really? You think mom's going to be the team? Okay. Now I have to turn this open. Ah! Uh -oh. Oh, that's a hideous noise. I don't think I fixed it. I just realized that <laughs> the check valve needs to go on the cold side. So I was completely replacing the wrong thing. I need to go back in and redo everything. I need a fitting. Yeah, we can go this route. Okay, so we just quick ran down here to Bender's. I got another little fit, a fitting. We'll see if we can get this fit. Why is it that so often we women try to fix things and then I might have to do it anyway? So I got all the check valves switched. I got the check valve down here now instead. And then I was over tightening this with a wrench on the bottom and it cracked open. That took way longer than I wanted it to. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. I cannot get those crimps off. I need someone with a lot of strength, but I think it's gonna be pretty quick to fix. Just ended up costing a bit more with the extra pieces I needed. Once he gets home, we'll check it out. Actually worked out really well. Lexi just slept and slept in her car seat. She's still sleeping. This came in the mail today. Okay, it's just a Wi-Fi router. But here's the thing. I'm just gonna inform you guys about something just to think about. EMFs are a thing, like from all the, like it's electromagnetic field, I believe. Like from all the radiation from our electronic devices and especially things like Wi-Fi and like our cell phones and that type of thing. So one thing that I try to do every night is I turn off my phone when I sleep. And I used to be in a really good habit of turning off my Wi-Fi every night and sometimes even during the day when I'm not using it. And I had always dreamed about being able to have wired internet instead of Wi-Fi, but a lot of my devices, like the, the printer is in the back room that needs Wi-Fi, my little robot needs Wi-Fi. I was like, if I could have one of these guys that actually has a button that turns it on and off so that whenever I just want to quick make a copy, I can quick turn on the Wi-Fi and then turn it back off just to kind of bring down the amount of EMFs in our house. Look into it if you're not sure about it, especially with children as they're growing. Um, I was getting lazy with turning off Wi-Fi because we just recently got Starlink, which I'm so excited about. We finally have fast internet. Before we had such spotty internet, I could never rely on whether I had internet to upload a YouTube video and then it would take like a couple days just to like upload one and then it would like glitch and anyway. So we now have Starlink thanks to Elon Musk. And since I switched to his router, sorry this is a long ramble, I kind of got lazy with Wi-Fi. And then Lexi's baby monitor quit working. I had like an old fashioned thing that was pretty good with like EMF type stuff and it quit working and needed to get another one so I was researching again which one's a good kind and it just sparked in me again how this stuff is not good for us and especially babies they say when babies are growing um, their bones are soft and their skulls and things and they're much more impacted by these EMFs and it is one of the reasons I won't use things like cameras like baby monitor cameras video cameras that and also kind of like heard so much about people breaking in through your security cameras and that type of thing, so don't really want it. But I was researching, I'll actually link it below if you wanna check it out. Um, it's just one that transmit noise, it doesn't have a video, and then it turns off when the baby's not crying. So when it's turned off, 
and it has like no radiation whatsoever and then when she gets starts crying it activates and then it sends um, it's like a 49 megahertz signal which is like one of the safest ones so I'm waiting for that and through that whole thing it reminded me again I need to get the Wi-Fi out of our house so as nice as all these smart gadgets are I just don't want like a Wi-Fi fridge or Wi-Fi everything else I mean they already have enough so I'll link this one as well if you want it we'll see if I can figure out how to set this up yes, hello uh, this is Janine I have a few questions about my Starlink can you help me out maybe so I have like a their main router that comes in and I was looking it up online. So I got another router and you can bypass theirs but I still need theirs to run the thing outside. I tell you, if this doesn't look like a cable mess, I was trying to keep all my cables nice and neat but now it's like beyond hope. Moment of truth, let's see if I have internet. Ah, uh, no internet. Okay, like reboot the the Starlink or the... All right, we have our internet all figured out, but it's 4.30. This whole afternoon just went between fix, trying to fix the camper and getting my internet set up. I haven't gotten much done this afternoon. What are you doing? What's your brother doing? Uh, what's he doing? You kick, you talk, you do every word. You can't hide those sleepy eyes. <laughs> and your silverware on the table and stuff. She's starting to sleep. There she went. You think that'd be a cool idea with Dad making a slide in the silo? Yeah, but we needed a humongous tree house. Oh. Because. How would we get up to the first part? Like, so we have to make our slide stick out oh. somehow out the top. And see, I don't know if we have to climb the bottom of the part and climb up to the top. Okay. So we need somehow to get up. Remember, like, like how some playgrounds have these little ladders mm -hmm. to climb up. We need something like a treehouse or something. You better hurry. There's more words coming out of your mouth than food going in. <laughs> All right, now kitchen's cleaned up. We're gonna head out and see if Nolan can figure the camper out. That bottom line, I snapped it. It's supposed to look like the top one. <laughs> it's good that Nolan's hips reside in the same zip code, unlike mine. I have separate addresses. <laughs> can easier see her fit in there. What's the matter with you? Are you ready for bed? Are you? No one's about finished. Took them maybe about 15, 20 minutes or something like that. So we're soon ready to see if all that effort and guessing was right. Let's hope we're right. Here we go. Everything all good so far? All looks good. It's not squealing, so that's a good sign. Okay, let's give this a whirl. Woohoo! Well, folks, I'm pleased to announce that yours truly has resolved the issue. With my husband's help, of course. What do you think of your wife, babe? Pretty amazing. <laughs> Could have done it without you, though. I can't seem to fix anything. So that's a check off the list.
Don't hit me. Woo! So we like to have the children in bed by eight or around eight at 7.30. I'm gonna be getting her to bed. Hey Lexi, are you ready for your bath? Are oh, ya? Yeah. <laughs> are you ready? You're so sweet. Love you, bud. I can. Sleep good. I'm telling you, there's nothing quite like that feeling when the children are tucked in bed, everyone's quiet, sleeping, you come downstairs, you're pretty much done with your evening housework, and everything is just blissfully still, and you can just have the whole evening to yourself. It's 8.20, took me a little longer to get everyone to bed, Nolan's on the phone, he normally puts Xander through the tub and through bed, so, anyway, it's a little later for me tonight, but I'm going to do some computer work. Thanks for following, hope you enjoyed this random vlog, and we'll see you next time.